beautiful day here in Camarillo, California. Looking at a very nice 1941 Ford pickup. Really nicely done little pickup. It's set up so you can drive it. It retains a lot of its uh, original powertrain. It has a 239 cubic inch flathead V8, which is actually the en original engine to the truck. It matches the frame number. It's an original chassis truck. Has some neat little upgrades so you can drive it. Very nicely done body off style restoration. The paint on this truck is just fantastic, is what I'd say. Very nicely professional done. You'll want to go to spudsgarage.com where we have plenty of photos of the restoration as it was going along. Um, really not modified in any sense when it comes to the body, just beautified. Um, obviously fit, finish, that kind of thing is, is extremely nice. We may have the wind pick up a little bit, but I think we're going to get away with it today. This is an actual working spotlight. Neat little history on this truck. This gentleman, before the restoration, bought it in Valencia, California, where it had previously come out of Bakersfield. So it was basically a very solid truck, but farm use type, so the bed needed to be updated. Has an updated uh, bed, factory style bed. It's all steel, there's no modifications here. So a little bit of work was done here and there, but a lot of work was done. Anyway, factory reproduction bed with ash wood uh, inserts in it. We'll go around the back and we'll show you that. Has some nice little touches, a little old school pin, pinstriping here, along the little bed line here, along the cab belt line. But the fit and finish of this truck is very professional. Um, it has, uh, the wind did pick up on me here. Uh, white wall tires on it, those are Diamondbacks. I believe on the undercarriage video I said Coker and they're Diamondbacks. It has a four inch dropped axle on the front. What's neat about it, it does have the original, it's got a hopped up 239 V8 uh, built by H&H &H Flatheads, has a C4 automatic transmission in it. Really neat to have an automatic in one of these, you can actually drive it. Walker radiator, doesn't overheat or anything like that. Has a Ford 9 inch differential with a chassis engineering conversion in the back so it fits nice, it sits right. It's got a nice little rake to it. Cal California 41 plate on it. The waterfall on these things, on the uh, grill of these, and the hood is uh, unique. On a 41, it has this, it, on a 40 it would have been just this piece here, but this waterfall here is beautiful on a 41. Otherwise they look pretty much the same. I think there's a difference in the marker light, so on and so forth. We'll step back here and let you take a look at it. Again, a little windy, but you'll get the gist of it. Fit and finish, very nice. Nice stance, nice look. Factory style bumpers, dropped axle. It's low, disc brakes in the front. He does have a uh, spare tire mount here. A bar that he's built that's finished body color that com comes up through that hole and you could mount a spare here, but it looks so much better without the spare. You could. All factory bright work, reproduction stuff obviously, all new bright work has a glide engineering seat in it. We'll cover that when we get to the other side. It's all leather trimmed. Very high-end uh, carpet style, wool style carpet interior. All the edges are trimmed, so on and so forth. Has a uh, tilt, uh, I think that's a tri-C tilt steering column. So, you know, he set it up to drive it. The gentleman that owns it is about 6'3". He fits in it very nicely, and I'm 6'1", fit in it nicely too. So glide engineering seat, factory leather, door jam to door jam. You take a look at this truck. I, want, I was almost ready to shut the door, but I want to show you the quality of the fit and finish of this truck is very nice. You can see the reflections. Cool color. PPG evening blue is what the color is called. Very nice little pickup. You know, you could never restore it for what you're going to pay for one of these trucks like this. It's always better to buy them done. This is a cute truck. If you like attention, um, it's neat. We'll have some shots in the sun at Spud's Garage, too, to kind of give you a difference in feel and light and shade and so on and so forth. And depends on how it picks up the light. Stainless steel uh, bed gate hinges here. Factory style tail lamps on it. 
tailgate has some nice re release you know he took off the chains obviously doesn't have the chains hanging off the back here has nice cable chains and there's a release right here for it bedsides like I said they're reproduction steel but it is all steel pickup factory trim style truck other than the tailgate latches here again this pinstriping right along here is very nice again take a look at the finish there hang on to the end of the video here because we're gonna have undercarriage photo and video that kind of thing definitely go to spudsgarage.com a lot of time was spent on this truck it only has about 700 miles on it roughly since it was complete he keeps it inside doesn't use it much in the garage here Camarillo California you can see the reflections in the finish finish there kind of give you a look at the stance here it's got a we are a little bit high in the back on the road here it's not totally level but it's got a cool look to it anyway get around here invite you in and we'll get in here again door jam to door jam every screw nut bolt has been touched on this car so it's a nut and bolt body off restoration factory chassis I know I repeat myself sometimes these videos are long and I uh, enjoy covering it for you this seat actually has a recline function it's a it's a uh, right glide engineering seat but it's got this recline function so it allows it you can't go real far but allows you to push the seat back the seat cushion lips up here hang on just a minute we'll cover that video for you like I said this is a working spotlight there's a picture at Spud's garage with a light on again pedal style it has power disc brakes it also has a vacuum assist vintage style turn signals factory instrument style cluster that's been upgraded to modern and it is modern 12 volt system on it underneath the dash is nicely done with a painless wiring system so it's all modernized there's no audio if you want you can put audio on it it's got a nice sound to it uh, brushed aluminum style or uh, billet steering wheel banjo style leather wrap to match the interior 760 some miles on it fire this old girl up why not <laughs> a little hopped up H&H &H flathead Hang on a minute, we're going to cover the engine compartment for you. Dual Strombergs, Afi Equip, Fenton. C4 automatic, so it's got a low car style shifter here. You got to love the sound of a flathead. This one almost sounds like a small block. Anyway. Hang on to the end of the video here. Definitely it's time we're going to invite you to get in. Appreciate you coming to Spud's Garage. Give Brian a call. Absolutely no pressure ever. Right, let's take a look underneath the hood. Very nicely done. What you're seeing under the hood here is the actually the original engine of this truck. It's a 239 cubic inch standard bore uh, flathead V8. It is a matching number engine to the frame on this car. Not that it makes much difference because the truck's been altered, but it's always cool to see that uh, that it hung around with this truck for a long time anyway uh, so it's got a little bit of a cam in it it was built by H and H flatheads it has a little bit of a cam has an updated distributor here I believe that's a uh, Mallory style uh, Fenton headers on it Offenhauser uh, reproduction aluminum head and intake manifold with dual Strombergs but those are original style Strombergs really neat here it has a uh, gel cell battery but he actually used part of the hood trim of another vehicle to as a battery hold down there um, mounted in its factory spot so it's resting between the frame rails that it has been for since this baby was new some big old horns underneath the hood here um, it has a uh, that's the reservoir for the master cylinder right there this is a uh, actually an alternator it's a generator built to look like an alternator as a walker radiator it has absolutely zero overheat issues uh, we always try and ask that question 
the oil filter housing there, so it's a filtered uh, flathead V8. Hooked behind it is a uh, C4 automatic transmission, which is called a flatomatic conversion. And then on the rear end is a uh, Ford 9 inch with a 325 ratio. Anyway, give you a good feel. Nice little trim piece here on the front of the grill. Make sure I cover everything for you. They filled all the holes that had probably been drilled in the firewall over the years. This is a really neat uh, rotisserie or body off style restoration. Anyway, Hang on to the end of the video. Right, we're gonna Go do a little clip here stuff. so we'll show you underneath the seat, um, kind of as the tail end after the walk around here. Underneath the seat, there's a factory base here, and the factory seat would typically sit there. It has a glide engineering seat in it now, which is kind of neat. It does allow you to tip the back some. Now this is all done in leather. Anyway, the seat bottom lifts up here and it allows storage underneath the seat here, and we wanted to share that with you. You'll see it has a gas hydraulic shock to keep it up. Anyway, I'll show you another clip here in just a minute. Maybe I can do the recline here. Right, Does this I'll show tip you behind the forward. seat right here? All right. Let's there take a go. look at the undercarriage. Very nicely done. Factory frame type restoration. You don't get a lot like this. It's always nice to have solid factory stuff. It has the uh, chassis engineering uh, conversion components for the parallel leaf springs in the back. And the chassis engineering stuff allows you to do tranny mounts and things like that and remove the wishbones. And Ford 9 inch rear differential with 325 ratio. Now, this is a full body off restoration. Very nicely done. The body components were painted separately. As I go around the truck here, really take a look at the finish on this. It's very nice. Parallel leaf springs there. There's the chassis engineering mounts. All steel, running boards, everything. Has a C4 automatic transmission. It's called a flatomatic conversion. There's the power brake booster right there. It also has an electric assist for the power brakes if you want to turn the pump on. It has a little wind out here today so it's got my allergies up a little bit gas shocks in the front stabilizer bar stabilizer drop blocks because it has a four inch dropped axle in the front has a disc brake conversion conversion on the front just nice clean nice fun got coker tires on it wide whites I believe Again, look at the finish on this. It's just spectacular. Flathead V8, bottom of it. Anyway, you're getting about to the end of the video. You definitely want to go to spudsgarage.com when you're done. Give Brian a call. I'm never any pressure. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. All right, there he goes, driving away. Could be driving back to your house. Go to Spuds Garage.